Richly from Lean Over 40 for Men. Now in this video what I want to talk about is how to build muscle after the age of 40. Now there's quite a few guys in the 40s that ask me can I still build muscle over the age of 40 and the answer is yes okay. You can gain muscle in your 20s, your 30s, your 40s or even your 60s if you go about it the right way. Now the main key if you're a natural trainee is progressive overload so you should be either doing more reps or adding more weight to each of your exercises but as you get older, you need to pay more attention to that perfect form on those exercises so that you don't get injured. And the main thing is when you start to get older is recovery ability, okay? And that is how long it's going to actually take your muscles to recover from a hard workout session. So if you think about it, if you go in, say you're doing a flat bench press or even an inclined bench press, how long is it going to take your body to recover so that you can do that same workout again? And as we get older, unfortunately, our recovery ability actually drops, okay? So it decreases as we actually get older. So it takes us longer to recover from a hard workout session. And it's not just our muscular system that takes time to recover. It's also our central nervous system as well that's stimulated every time that we lift weights. So we're putting a lot of pressure on our joints, on our muscles, on our tendons, our ligaments, and also on our central nervous system as well. And it's that that actually takes the time. It can take somewhere you know, two to three days, depending on how old you are, how long you've been training, and other different factors as well, okay? So, I don't recommend training more than three strength training workouts per week. Now, some guys are actually gonna do better on a lower volume than that, okay? Believe it or not, some guys actually do better on twice per week training, depending on how advanced your strength is. So, if you're a stronger guy and you can bench press more weight, say, for example, you can squat more weight, you can deadlift more weight, then again, it's gonna take your body actually longer to recover. And a lot of people think that you need to be in the gym a hell of a lot, okay, to build muscle, and it's simply not the case, especially if you're a natural. The main point is progressive overload. So if you keep on getting stronger on, say, your bench press, or you keep getting stronger on your squat, then you're gonna build muscle regardless of whether you're actually training that exercise once, twice, or even three times per week. If you train that exercise, say, three times per week, but you're actually struggling to actually put weight on that exercise or do more reps then you're not going to progress as fast as someone that's adding weight to it every single week but only doing it once a week okay so it's not about how often you're actually in the gym it's how your body responds and then how progressive you are between each workout. Now I always remember reading about the difference in recovery ability between two weightlifters one was 16 years old and one was 21 years old and there was actually a big difference in recovery ability between those two age groups although both of them were extremely young. So if there's a big difference there, imagine the difference between a 21 year old and a 46 year old in recovery ability. Now recovery ability is obviously a big deal, especially when we start getting older, because if you carry on training when you're not fully recovered, then eventually you're gonna end up injuring yourself, okay? You're gonna injure those joints, you're gonna injure those ligaments, it's just gonna take you a lot longer to actually recover. You're gonna be in a overtrained state all the time, so you're just gonna feel constantly tired, dragging your feet around which is also one of the reasons why men over 40 should resort to a lower training volume, okay? So you're gonna recover a lot quicker. And what works really well, I always say this for men over 40, is multiple sets of low reps. They're far safer, they're far superior, and they have the most dramatic effect on body composition as well, especially if you're a natural trainee. So the main keys for men over 40 that want to build muscle is make sure that it's progressive overload, okay? So you should be adding weight or reps to each exercise every week that goes by. So in order to do that, you shouldn't be weight training more than three times per week with twice per week, believe it or not, being better for a lot of guys over the age of 40. Now you should also be sticking to major compound exercises, things like bench presses, squats, pull-ups, deadlifts, because not only are they gonna have the best effect on lean body composition, but they also have the most dramatic effect on the hormonal response as well for men over 40. So that means increases in things like testosterone, which tends to decline after the age of 30. So you should be sticking to these compound exercises. Now, one of the biggest mistakes that I see men in the 40s making is actually trying to copy guys in their 20s and even 30s as well. They go to the gym, say, four to six times per week, doing endless exercises, endless sets, endless reps, and it ultimately just leads to failure and burnout and also this obsessive lifestyle as well, where you're practically living your entire life in the gym for very little in return, okay, apart from an overtrained body, you know, injuries, you, you know, sort of dragging your feet around all the time, you're having to take all these different supplements to try and keep up with all the recovery that your body needs and also eating all these meals a day. And to be honest with you, I recommend just throwing that way of training completely out the window, okay? 
You don't have to be obsessive with your training. You can still build a nice natural amount of muscle by training two to three times per week, focusing on those major compound exercises and then just setting yourself free of having to take all these supplements and also having to eat five or six times per day, okay? I mean, what would you rather have? A nice, lean, strong physique or be in the gym four to six times per week and basically, you know, living your, your entire life in the gym, which I never, ever recommend, okay? So just stick to those major compound exercises. Make sure you get enough recovery ability. Make sure that you're eating a decent diet that has enough protein, carbohydrates and fats in it as well on a consistent basis. And then just be consistent with your training and I promise that you're going to see some fantastic progress. Okay, so I hope this video has cleared up some mixed messages about building muscle in your 40s. You can still build muscle in your 40s if you go about it the right way. Stick to those major compound exercises and don't exceed your recovery ability. And don't forget that building muscle in your 40s is also extremely important for getting lean as well. You're not going to get that broad shoulders, defined chest, V-shaped back and also tight waist without strength training. So I hope you really enjoyed this video. Hit the like button if you've liked this video. Make sure that you subscribe as well to Lean Over 40 for Men. And I'll speak to you soon in the next video. Bye for now.